All right, guys, let's do another What Makes This Seem Perfect. And I just rewatched this the other day, whoops, for the first time in a long while. And I want to do a watch party of this. I mentioned this because I have mentioned on the channel I'm not a big sci fi guy. Like, that's why Alien, it's a masterpiece, but it's not in my top 10 you know, films or anything close to that. But The Fifth Element from 1997 this is a science fiction movie that works for me in every way a manager <laughs> imaginable this movie is so original i don't think i've seen a decent amount of ideas put on screen in this film ever since or before or ever again like, there are just some things in this movie that are so original, that are so creative, and it just works 100% for me. Like, I know people who think this movie's fucking stupid. <laughs> to each their own. This is probably in my top 30 films of all time. And this scene is perfect. Like, what can you say about this scene? The first time I saw this movie, when this came out... I don't remember if I saw it in theaters, but the scene we're talking about is the diva dance <laughs> from this movie. Now, this might be like one of the most original scenes ever put to film for me and what I've seen. Like, listen, like, listen to this. We have four stones, four elements, and the fifth element, played by Mila Jovovich, was so fucking good in this movie. Like, <laughs> she does so well. And Bruce Willis is always amazing. Chris Tucker's hysterical. But you have this fifth element on a space cruise over a beachy planet with an alien opera singer that breaks into unimaginable <laughs> human, beyond human singing in like a trip hop. <laughs> Dude, this is so original. And it's just unbelievably well done and just so much fun. So let's break down this crazy scene. Now, I mean, the look of the alien, the diva, is so cool, man. Come on, with the all the blue, with the fucking tentacles coming down from her hair, like, or her head. <laughs> what an original looking alien, man. And then she just starts breaking into this beautiful, like, opera song. And I'm not an opera guy. I've said that in my video for uh, opera, <laughs> coincidentally, by Argento. Not an opera person, but just with the, the way that she sings and just how she looks and with the, the earth in the background, dude, it looks so good. The CGI in this movie has aged fucking well. Like, it really has. Like, in the beginning of the movie, when you're seeing um, in New York or in Brooklyn, where Bruce Willis lives, and all the cars are floating in the air and stuff, that still looks damn good today. Like, and you don't see that. Like, I've never seen that in another movie that I can think of. God, Luke Besson killed it. Now, if I butcher her name, apologies. <laughs> like, she'll love to see this. The woman who played and sung, I'm pretty sure her name was Inga Mulva something like that and Bruce Willis nobody in the crowd saw her in makeup and everything before her performance so like Willis's perform like his reaction is completely genuine like looking at her singing and everything in that outfit <laughs> man that had to be some crazy stuff to see like what a cool thing to be a part of and then just the fight scene here <laughs> that's in between and like with the opera song starts getting a little more intense and then you see the alien dudes with the rubber heads fucking come in and shoot the two uh, divas like I don't know employees or some shit like that and uh, then it just you see which I love this you see Lilu just like look so pissed off and she sees that these were the people who shot down the spaceship that she was on and crashed into the planet, and she is just ready to kill. One one hysterical thing in this movie, though, is these aliens, twice, they get the stones. They don't open the case. <laughs> like, not once. These people don't look inside cases. They just assume, here's a case, we got the stones, <laughs> and they never have them. 
then we just get the the beat that kicks in <laughs> and i know that the way that they wrote the vocals here were to make them sound so alien and so not singable by human beings but i'm pretty sure she sung like 85 90 percent of this which is fucking mesmerizing first of all with a vocal range like that there's one part that's digitally altered and you can hear it it sounds like a flute when it's like a keyboard it goes like it's like really out there but man does it add to the seed so much and just the fight choreography this was a big 90s thing like when you would just see fights with each hit and stuff like on a music cue like the music was sunk like synced so well to this choreography and god just jovovich kills it in this like i love her so much in this movie she's hit or miss for me but this movie she just absolutely killed the role of Lila. and then just the way that it's edited man like this whole film is edited perfectly like there's such great <laughs> editing in this when um zorg which gary oldman kills as always opens up the chest and you're like they're not here and then it cuts to mila jovich going ha 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 dude that's great i love that so much i used like you do see it a lot but for this movie it works so well and then the alien bitch is singing so loud and she's doing like that da, da, da. <laughs> come on when have you ever seen something like this in another film never for me i if someone has seen anything remotely like this in a film please let me know because this scene is perfect and all of the aforementioned stuff is what makes it perfect. Take care, guys.